After our first month in Morocco, we drove south and followed the seaside to get the best experience we could from the coast. We made it to Esuwira, a touristy place that's also one of the locations for the Game of Thrones. We visited the old Medina, which was surrounded by local artesian shops and aromatic fish restaurants. We also met Martin and Ronja, a Dutch-German couple traveling in their T3 called Spencer, and decided to travel together. We'd organized a hello with Mike the next day. Mike is also known as Van Dog Traveler, and since we happened to be in the same area at the same time, we decided to meet. We'd been following his blog and had found it a good source of inspiration for us. All of us created a small convoy and we arrived in Sidi Kauki, a super small village on the seaside. Just when we were gearing up to build a campfire in a beautiful location, the local police stopped by and forced us to move to a 30 dirham camping, which is really code for a parking lot. Anyway, it's always nice to meet up with people on the road sharing stories and good food around the campfire. It's homey. And we did, in the end, end up enjoying ourselves immensely in our pseudo camp. We continued our journey passing by Imsuwana and finally arriving in Tagazut, the surf capital of Morocco. There were lots of surfers in the water and the hot, sunny weather was perfect for getting wet. One night, we'd left the side door open because of the heat. When we were almost ready for bed, a dog just jumped into the van and decided he wasn't leaving. We let him be. He stayed all night with us in the van and the morning after, we decided to be adopted by him. Enter our newest traveler, Ziggy Stardog, to our journey. Our time in Tagazut was pretty social. We met loads of van life people with different backgrounds and stories that we were able to film for a long-term project we're working on. It's always refreshing to hear other people's stories and how they live their version of van life. It's also a perfect way to learn new things and discover unique perspectives. We wandered for a bit inland to a place called Paradise Valley and then further on south to the small village of Duira. While taking some night shots, Armando met Aziz, a 25-year-old shepherd who invited us to his shelter for a cup of tea, homemade bread, and fresh goat milk the next morning. When we went to a neighboring village of Sidi Rabat, we came across a local fisherman that shared his story and the story behind the fisherman's caves. And then we made a new friend named Ismail. Ronia and Martine stopped by with their new puppy, Pinar, and we had a lovely grouped dinner at Ismail's with a mussel tagine and spaghetti with mussels. It was quite a tasty international dinner. This is the reason we like wild parking in the countries we visit. We're able to connect with locals, experience more of their culture, share ours, and meet other like-minded travelers. It's something that definitely doesn't happen for us in an organized campsite or resort. That's it for now, but don't miss our next episode where you can come with us to discover the Painted Rock Valley and much more. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or our social media for the latest updates and Westfalia Digital Nomads escapades.